Hello and welcome to my channel. Over the past two years or so, I have been using Topaz Lab's suite of plugins for Photoshop and Lightroom, and I must say that I have been pleased with the results. Not long ago, while browsing various photographic forums, I came across mention of some new software by DxO, i.e. Pure Raw 4. So I downloaded the trial for 14 days, and the first thing I did was to actually process some Kingfisher images that I had recently taken, with middle into high ISO. And I must say, with the results, I was blown away. Let's take a look at the user interface of both Pure Raw 4 and Photo AI. Before we go further, I should point out that both Pure Raw and Photo AI can be used as a standalone app and as a plugin for Lightroom. However, Topaz Photo AI and Denoise AI, Sharpen AI, can be used in Photoshop too. So here is the raw, pure raw screen as a standalone. There are three ways to add raw files. From files, the add photos to Lightbulb, or drag and drop all raw files to this box. After adding your raw files, you have options to process one of them or all photos as a batch process. Then there is also an option to preview before processing. Just remember to update the preview when changing view types or items in the right hand panel. Once you have done with previews, simply click the process button. Pure Raw will now start processing and saving the images. I won't keep you here until everything is done, but generally processing 10 images took about one and a half minutes on my machine, but of course this is dependent on your own computer specification. Now this is the Topaz Photo AI interface. Works similar to Pure Raw, adding images from file, browse or drag and drop again we could do a batch process or just one and we can also do a preview in various ways before and after split screen or side by side. Then when you are ready to save those images, just click save. Do your file names and the locations and then close. As you will see, it is now saving and processing images. Again, we won't go through until the end, but this took about two and a half minutes on my PC. Right, so let's compare one of those images from both batch processes. This is the original RAW file. This is the Topaz Photo AI DNG. And finally the Pure RAW DNG. Notice that the exposure of the Pure RAW DNG is closer to the original. Whilst the photo AI file is exposed darker. And also the photo AI file has fewer tone options. I think we can agree here that the pure raw file is better exposed and noticeably sharper than the photo AI file. Pure raw. Photo AI. Now finally, I'm going to do some processing on three images I took the other day that are very high ISO, between 10,000, 18,000. So let's add those uh, files to uh, 
and let's process them. And finally, three images from the day out I had a very dull day shooting at high ISOs. This first one is an ISO of 10,000. This is the original RAW. This is the processed image. Then next we have another image at 14400. This is the original RAW. This is the processed image. And finally the highest one I had at 18,000. This is the original RAW. This is the processed image. I'm sure you'll agree with me that there really is some good scope in Pure Raw. However, I will be keeping the Topaz Labs. So there we have it. Well, I hope you have found this video helpful. So in conclusion, I feel that Pure Raw 4 has some scope in it, that it processes images somewhat better than Photo AI. I'll be using Pure Raw as the first stage on my workflow before working in Lightroom and Photoshop. I shall also be keeping and using Denoise and Sharpening inside Photoshop where I may find some further uses with it. So all I need to do now is to say thank you for watching, please subscribe and leave a comment, tell me what you think, ask a question or leave a suggestion of anything you'd like me to do in the future. So all that is needed now is cheerio!